what's up YouTube I just wanted to show everybody how I was mounting my 43 millimeter Injora oil filled shocks um, when I first got into the bag I wasn't sure if I should um, press the brass insert into the into the shock or not um, I didn't want to do that so I just ended up uh, holding the shock in place with this o-ring so let's take the o-ring off here yeah and then the shock it just comes right off like that and I've been running this um, I've been running this for a while now and I actually haven't had any problems with the shock coming off so yeah and I'm really happy with these shocks they're really smooth so you just take the, push it on there, take the o-ring and put it, put it on and it holds it on there real nice. You still get lots of flex and if you're really worried about it, you can just uh, put a little washer in there and then that'll for sure um, keep it on there. Um, also want to show you a picture of what's inside the shocks. Um, I put a little bit of green slime in between each spacer and o-ring so when I push the shaft back up into the shock and twist the bottom cap on um, it squishes all that green slime in around the shock body and makes a really nice tight um, seal so you don't get any shock leak, any shock oil leaking at all and you can use that method for uh, I use that method for building all of my shocks so, and I really like how um, it's got a nice metal piston as well. Um, really nice shocks, really happy with them. Um, like every single part is metal and brass inserts. Like, good job, Enjora. They really went all out. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Take care.